Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about FIFO branch and bound uh, knapsack problem. This is the part 2. I suggest you to first watch part 1 and then come here because this is just a continuation video. I'm not going to explain anything in this. This is just a continuation video of the previous problem that we were doing. So yeah, let's uh, continue with the problem. So what was the condition for node 8 here? It is x1 is equal to 1, x2 is equal to 1 and x3 is equal to 1, right? So we have to calculate the lower bound here x1 is equal to 1, x2 is equal to 1, x3 is equal to 1 means what? You are keeping 2, you are keeping 4, you are keeping 6 and if there is more place for 9 then you are keeping 9. Otherwise you will give the fractional part of 9, right? So you are keeping 2, you are keeping 4 and you are keeping 6 as well. If there is more part then you are giving it for the 9 which means this is same as this scenario only, right? So same scenario. So you can take the same lower bound and same upper bound without calculating. So here I'm doing like this. But in exam, I suggest you to calculate lower bound and upper bound again. But instead of using your brain, you can just copy paste it from there. So the same upper bound and lower bounds we will be having because it is the same scenario. X1 is equal to 1, X2 is equal to 1, X3 is equal to 1. And if there is more place, we are accommodating X4. And here fractions are not allowed, so we are not taking X4. Okay, so let's write. So lower bound will be, so lower bound of 8 will be minus 38 from here and upper bound will be minus 32. So upper bound of 8 will be minus 32. Okay, so simple, we are done with node 8. So lower bound of 8 is equal to minus 38 and upper bound of 8 is, is equal to minus 32. Done, minus 38, minus 32, yes, correct. Now let's do for node 9. So for node 9, what is this in condition? x1 is equal to 1, x2 is equal to 1 and x3 is equal to 0. Right? Let's do the same. So for node 9, x1 is equal to 1, x2 is equal to 1 and x3 is equal to 0. That means you are taking x1 and x2, but you are x1 and x2, yeah, and you are leaving x3. So x1 is 2. 2 and after 2 how much more is remaining 13 so you are taking x2 also 4 and after this how much more is remaining 9 and x4 is what 9 you have to not take x3 right so x4 is what 9 exact 9 you have yeah you have fitted okay now so what are the profits associated minus 10 minus 10 and minus 18 so lower bound of node 9 will be minus 38 and yeah it's correct so let's go to upper bound also now upper bound also same right why because there are no fractions so you can write the upper bound as it is 9 so it will be minus 10 minus 10 minus 18 so upper bound of node 9 will be minus 38 okay so let's update the values minus 38 and minus 38 both are minus 38 so lower bound of 9 is equal to minus 38 and upper bound of 9 is equal to minus 38 okay now compare the upper bounds you got with the global upper bound so here minus 32 is equal to minus 32 you can keep it same but here minus 38 is less than minus 32 right minus 38 is less than minus 32 so you have to update so now what is the global upper bound it is minus 38 okay so from now onwards our upper bound is minus 38 it is not minus 32 got it now again check this condition so now for node 5 what is the lower bound minus 36 minus 36 and what is the upper bound minus 38 minus 38 is less than minus 36 right so you have to not expand this and here also minus 38 is less than minus 32 so you have to not expand this node also okay these two nodes are also killed now come for node now expand node 8 okay don't get confused guys since we have updated our global upper bound we are checking again so our global upper bound here is minus 38 minus 38 is less than minus 36 negative values don't get confused 
again minus 38 is less than minus 32 so we are killing those both nodes also now let's expand node 8 so how do you expand node 8 9 is finished right so 10 and then you get 11 here so let's uh, calculate the upper bound and lower bound for node 10 before that so this is going to be x4 is equal to 1 and x4 is equal to 0 so one thing what is the condition for node 10 x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 1 and x4 is equal to 1 do you think it is possible that means you have to fix everybody x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 1 and x4 is equal to 1 that means all the values should be fitted into the knapsack if all the values are to be fitted into the knapsack how much it becomes 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 9 it is going to be 21 but your your knapsack is not having that capacity so you need not consider node 10 go for node 11 so for node 11 what is the condition x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 1 and x4 is equal to 0 right 1 1 1 and 0 so let's try that x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 1 and x4 is equal to 0 that means you can take 1 2 3 but you can leave the fourth element so what will be the lower bound here 2 4 and 6 so it will be minus 10 minus 10 minus 12 so lower bound of node 11 will be minus 32 now upper bound upper bound is same there are no fractions right so you can take the same bag for upper bound also so you will get the upper bound of 11 as minus 32 done now update the values again here both lower bound and upper bound are 32 so so I'm sorry guys lower bound is equal to how much minus 32 and upper bound is also equal to minus 32 okay done now check minus 32 sorry your upper bound minus 32 is greater than or equal to minus 38 or you have to update that you have to check now minus 32 is greater than or equal to minus 38 it is greater than minus 38 right so you can keep the upper bound as same since it is greater than or equal to you can keep it as same now check for this conditions here so the lower bound is minus 32 so lower bound and this global upper bound is minus 38 compare both of them minus 32 is greater than minus 38 right so you can keep it at the same you need not update it now you need not further expand it because you have covered all the nodes x1 x2 x3 x4 all the uh, nodes are covered so you need not further explain expand it you can just keep the values like this now go for node 9 expand node 9 you can expand it as 12 and 13 so for 12 what will be the condition x4 is equal to 1 and for 13 x4 is equal to 0 let's calculate the uh, upper bound and lower bound now for node 12 and node 13 for node 12 what is the condition x1 is equal to 1 see x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 0 and x4 is equal to 1 okay that is the path from node 1 to node 12 right so let, let's write the same so for node 12 x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 0 and x4 is equal to 1 I hope you guys are practicing along with me if you're just watching the video I bet you will not understand it you will not remember it as well even though you understand it you will not remember it that's for sure so now calculate the lower bound lower bound means you can take these two and this one but not x3 okay so lower bound x1 is equal to 1 so you can take x1 so what is the remaining capacity 13 x2 is equal to 1 means you can take 4 also so what is the remaining capacity 9 and then remaining capacity 9 you can fill it as it is because you are not taking 6 so what you will get here minus 10 minus 10 sorry minus 10 yeah and minus 18 so lower bound of 12 will be minus 38 okay and upper bound 
so upper bound same back right since there are no fractions you will get the same upper bound also as minus 38 so update the values so lower bound of 12 lower bound of 12 is equal to minus 38 and upper bound of 12 is also equal to how much minus 38 now calculate for node number 13 so do you have to update your global upper bound no because both of them are same you need not update your global upper bound global upper bound is same now check for node 13 node 13 what is the condition from node 1 check x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 0 and x4 is equal to 0 right that means you are taking x1 and x2 you are not taking x3 and x4 so let's write the same here so let's do here only we don't have much space there so for node 13 what is the condition x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 0 and x4 is also equal to 0 okay so let's do lower bound now so lower bound would be by looking at the question x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to 1 that means only x1 and x2 you are taking x3 x4 you are not taking that is 2 and 4 that's all so minus 10 minus 10 so lower bound of 13 will be minus 20 and upper bound also same back since there are no fractions so upper bound also will be equal to minus 20 so lower bound of 13 is equal to minus 20 upper bound of 13 is equal to minus 20 done okay now we have filled our tree now let's see what we have to do you have to check for the same condition now 10 however it is not there right so here see what is the upper bound what is the global upper bound minus 38 and what is the lower bound of minus 32 sorry what is the lower bound of node 11 it is minus 30 right so check if minus 38 is greater than or equal to minus 32 or not is minus 38 greater than or equal to minus 32 no that means you have to not expand this okay now check for node 12 what is the lower bound for node 12 it is minus 38 okay so what is the lower bound for node 12 minus 38 again check here upper bound global upper bound is minus 38 is less greater than or equal to minus 38 this is true now check for node 13 for node 13 what is the lower bound minus 20 and check here what is the global upper bound minus 38 is greater than or equal to minus 20 is this true no so you can kill node 13 and you can kill node 11 also this is for 11 this is for 12 and this is for 13 so you can kill both of them and you can accept 12 so what is the path to 12 1 2 2 2 2 4 4 2 9 and 9 to 12 so 1 2 2 2 4 2 9 and 2 12 that means what is the condition x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 0 and x4 is equal to 1 so x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1, x3 is equal to 0, x4 is equal to 1. That means you are taking 1, 2 and 4. You are not taking 3. Okay. So that means you are taking 2, you are taking 4 and you are taking 9. You are not taking 6. Got it? So what will be the total profit now? Total profit would be 10 plus 10 plus 18 so 38 would be your total profit got it i know this video is very confusing you guys may not understand it in the first go be a little patient if you understood what is branch and bound then least cost knapsack will be easy for you if you understand le least cost knapsack this fee for knapsack will be more easier for you Okay, so that's all about this video guys. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for listening patiently part one, part two, everything. So from next, uh, the other algorithms will not be this hard. So all the best for your exams. Hope you will get good grades. Thank you so much for watching.